you've got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call me your own. You've got times and seasons in your hand. Times and you've got times and seasons in your head. You call for light, you call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man, you don't need a man. Oh God, but in your mercy. Call me your own. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for us, you men. Tell him you are God all by yourself. Say you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. Lord your God from beginning to the end your Alpha and Omega the author and the finisher of our life outside you there is no life and we are so grateful that you stepped out of eternity where there is no time and the place where you are not bound with time and you came into this earth where it is bound with time Lord, we are grateful for giving us this beautiful sermon series to just know our times and season here on earth. Help us to number our days. Teach us your ways, Lord, and we are willing to follow you for the rest of our lives. Permeate in our hearts. And Lord, just allow us to know your word, the truth of your word. Help us to encounter the truth like Paul. And he was able to secure the times and season that he had on earth and fulfill his ministry. Have mercy on us for wasting a lot of years and a lot of time. And these remaining little years that we have here on earth, help us, Lord, that we may make use of them for the glory and honor of your name. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. The service is under your charge. And I'm under your control. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Come on, put your hands together and appreciate the Lord. With a shout of praise, shout to the top of your voice. I'm saying open up your mouth and shout with a voice of triumph. Before we sit down, help me appreciate our father in faith, Pastor Daniel Morage and Pastor Charlotte Morage, the real shepherds of this ministry. We love you, Daddy, and we appreciate you. And we want the entire world to know that you are our spiritual parents, and we love you. Turn to the camera. The camera is there. All of us, turn to the camera. Turn to the camera. 
and say, we love you, Pastor Dan and Pastor Charlotte. Dan, I'm saying, all of us, Dan, like this. The camera is back there. <laughs> say, we love you. We love you. you. Pastor Daniel Murage. Pastor, Pastor Daniel Murage. Murage. And Pastor Charlotte Murage. And, and Pastor Charlotte Murage. Murage. And we cannot wait. And, and we, we cannot, cannot wait. To host you. To host you. In the team's ministry. In, in the, the team's ministry. In Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus name. Clap your hands once again. Amen. Amen. I appreciate all the leaders. May the Lord bless you. Praise and worship. Good job. May the Lord do you well in Jesus' name. I appreciate my wife. Don't be jealous. She's my wife. Our mother, appreciate her. We love you. And we celebrate your existence in Jesus' name. You may descend to the comfort of your seat and allow me standing for a few minutes just to teach you okay and I want you to smile are we together I'm seeing it born there see born there born and finding by the way what is that Kasiriga. Um, Kasiriga. So I want to see some smiles. Not just saying you're gonna one international person up. Sasa I'm trying to share my share. Kido kido kum tona m China around, mu India around. I'm trying to share life. But we bless the Lord, Amen. Amen. We appreciate you, Lucy, and we love you. So we begin our sermon series today. And by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we title the sermon series Understanding My Season. Tell your neighbor, Understanding, understanding My Season. Understanding My Season. Oh, yes. Because it's very important for you to understand your seasons. Is it true? Yes. Yeah. I'll begin by saying this. Paul says, when I was a child, I thought like a child, behaved like one, talked like one. But now that I'm, I've grown up, I don't need to do the same. Are we together? Yes. You were once a baby. Now look on a shuguliki, was that same man shugulikan? But you go on a shugulikiwa son. Yes. Is it true? Mm -hmm. But now you are grown up. Unaji shugulike? Shugulike. Ukiwam toi, au kwa na base for the gentleman. But now una guruma, una skiatu apa. Barak mi na guruma apa lafa na tunza kama na shout. <laughs> voice but when you are baby unaitwa kababa kuja when we na sisters mlikuwa na same poor variation tone yenu ilikuwa same but now that you've grown up you've grew now we are able to identify when a man is speaking and a girl is speaking. Why? Because of time and season. Are we together? Yes. And so understanding your season in life, it's very important. That's why Jesus never wasted even a single minute. The Bible says that sometimes we'll be with the people and with you go and hide himself and pray. Because of the assignment yet, he understood clearly that I'm on this planet earth for only 33 and a half years. Not for 40 years, not for 34 years. And so I must maximize this little time I have for me to fulfill the agenda of my father. And thank God our Father in faith today, Pastor Daniel said what? We are the salt of the earth. 
Is it true? Yes. Yeah. So if you're the salt of the earth, you must understand. You have a season here on earth. You're not here to stay. You're here for a mission. For everyone was born for a mission and a purpose. Tell your neighbor that you are born for a mission. You are born for a mission. Now see mission. One basic mission impossible. Simone or move your channel could you find? See mission. One basic mission impossible. Yes. So it is very important for one to understand times and seasons of life. When you understand the times and seasons of life, you are able to adjust yourself very well. Manasseh, you did not remind me to send you the notes. Yeah? When you understand your times and seasons very well, are we together? Yes. So it is very important, very, very important for you to understand your times and season in life. And when you understand the times and seasons of life, you are able to adjust yourselves very well. You will never be caught off guard in any season. Are we together? Yes. Are you writing that down? Mm. Yeah? Yes. Write this. When you understand the times and seasons of your life, you are able to adjust yourselves very well. You will never be caught off guard in any season. Let me send Manasseh these notes so that he does not say, oh, you did not send me the notes. There you go. Give me Genesis 28, 16. So I'm here for a few minutes and then I'll be out of your way. But I want you to pay attention to every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Are we together? Yes. What does the Bible say? We read all of us want to go. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I did not know it. We are not reading all of us. I want us to read all of us with oomph. Do you know what is oomph? You know, my wife went to a group of schools. Me, I just went in any school that were, was available. In our school, by then, I saw me a plot before Kaole South. So, when I saw my month in a fungwa, I was home one year. Yeah. So, you oomph, I mean, teach, teach. Oomph ni power. So, na nguvu, na kwa pamoja msijali kuna watu wengi wa group of schools hapa but while we go together tuko together si ni kweli yep is it true yes tuko together na tunaenda mbali uh-huh. so i want us to read all of us One, two, three, go read then jacob awoke from his sleep and said surely the lord is in this place and i did not know it can you imagine so jacob is sent for a mission to look for a wife. Na aliambua ukienda in this place usichukue bibi uko. Okay? So Jacob is in a mission. And the Bible says let me let me read you the previous uh Genesis 28. Let me read you the previous so that you understand why Jacob did not know that God was there. So we begin from verse uh, 9, right? That is 16, eh? So Esau went to Ishmael and took Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Neba Joth. Usitem to talk on Neba Joth. This is my 
to be his wife in addition to the wife he had. Now Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went towards Haran. Are we together? Yes. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set and he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. Are we together? Yes. And he lay down in that place to sleep. Twelve. Then he dreamed and behold a ladder was set up on the earth and its top reached to heaven. Mm. So Jacob began to dream. Mm. And in this dream he was seeing a ladder that was from top from bottom to top and top to bottom. Are we together? Yes. Then, uh, and then the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. What a beautiful dream. And then he says, 13, and, and behold, the Lord stood, read please. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your descendants. Continue. Also your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. And in you and in your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Fifteen. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Uh -huh. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know. Can you imagine? You're having such a powerful dream. You're seeing angels in the dream, ascending and descending. The Lord appears to you in the dream. And where Jacob had lied, that place is where the Lord was. And the Lord was in that place and Jacob did not know it. The meaning of that statement is, is not that the Lord came. Because in the dream, he saw the Lord coming. And the Lord was talking to him. So what Jacob is trying to say, the Lord was here and I did not know it, is because where he laid that place, God used to dwell there. Oh, wow. Wow. Amen. So he went and laid in a place where God, the residence of God, mm. but he was not aware. In some of us, mm. our seasons, seasons have come, but because of lack of discernment, spiritual discernment, You've not designed your destiny connector. You've not designed the person that should walk with you. You've not designed your season to move, to step into a certain direction. Some of us even have opportunities to go to school. But you are still lazing around. Because you are not designing times and seasons. You, you think you have all the time. Unafikiri uko na time yote ya kukaa earth. Unafikiria one day utazeeka. Now that you have the time, maximize it. Use that season well. You are young and energetic. You can serve the Lord. Why don't you serve the Lord now? Serve the Lord while it's still day. For night is coming where no man oh, yes. shall have strength mm. to serve the Lord. Mm. A day is coming where you will be old. Oh. You will not have time to serve the Lord. Oh, A time is coming where you will have children. Mm. Now that you don't have, you still do not want to serve God. When you get married, that marriage that you are fighting for, you get it. You get children. You get busy at home. Your time will start minimizing. The more engaged you are, the more the shorter the time. Right now, Minister Joseph, I have to play with my children. I have to give my, my wife time. Is it true? So that they don't feel my absence. 
I am. I have children at home that I'm staying with, others. I have to give them time. I have to find personal time for devotion and my connection with Jesus. I have to prepare for the teens ministry. I have to think about provoke worship atmosphere and the vision. I have to support my father in faith. Same man. But there is a, a season where I did not, I was not married. I did not have children. I, did, I was just lazing around. Now that I have commitment is when I'm realizing, guy, my time is short. I don't even time to socialize with people. I don't even have time for coffees. When we come with someone drinking coffee, I'm wondering, are we drinking coffee? I'm, I'm reading a book. Are we together? Yes. Because I always want to carry power and the presence of God. So the more I'm engaged with life, the little and the shorter the time it becomes. Now you that have all time, you're not paying rent. Is it true? Yes. You can wake up whatever time you want to wake up. You can eat bacon and all these things. You have all the time. You can shower four times a day because you don't pay water. Eh? The only money you have you is nyakubai nguo. Now that you have all this time, maximize that time. Jacob is trying to say, and Jacob awoke from his sleep. Imagine Ali Amka. Na Amka na sema, surely the Lord was in this place. And I did not know it. After Ami Amka, yana ntoka kwa dream, mungu wa memuongelesha. But Ami Amka na realize, guy, mungu wa likuwa pa na sikujua. And some of us, that is the life we are in. Where an opportunity has come. And it just bypasses you without knowing. Because our spiritual discernment, the level of our spiritual discernment is dying every day. We are busy with nothing. But I'm calling us to a place where we are sensitive to our seasons and time. Amen. Amen. The other day, I was telling my, my team, we are provoke. I'm a very spiritual man by God's grace. And I believe everything I do is very spiritual. I began telling them, I'm sensing a revival hitting Kenya. And I was telling them, this revival, because I'm in the music ministry, please people, let's pray. Please people, let's pray. They're just dashing, 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 dashing. Just the other day, my friend, Dr. Piana, called me and said, we went and had a chat. And he was telling me things that God told him about revival in Kenya. Oh, Jesus. The most amazing thing is that when he was praying, he was praying for God to give him someone to work with. And he has a lot of friends in Kenya, by the way, who have muscles in terms of finances. And God was telling him, I want you to work with that boy. So he called me and we went there with my wife and a few others. Why? Because you must be sensitive when God wants to do something Amen. in your time and Amen. in your time. Amen. You are not too young for God to use you. Yes. It's just that you're not sensitive. You are not paying attention to the things of the spirit. You don't know the days we are living in. The Bible says for the, with the days we are living in are evil. And evil is multiplying. And most of us do not know that we are about to exit this world. Most of us are not aware that we are about to exit this world. The Bible says when you see these signs and wonders, just know that the Son of God is at the door. Know that Jesus is at the door. And it's around the corner coming. We are living in those days. But some of us do not know. We are part of the people that are multiplying evil. 
thinking that we have all time on earth. That is not my message today. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 3.1. Before you read, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not miss your God-given moment in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say a bigger amen. Amen. I'm saying you will not miss your God-given moment in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the spirit of sensitivity upon you. Amen. From today, you will be sensitive in Jesus' name. Amen. You must become sensitive. Let nobody lie to you that you are young. It is true you are. And that is age because of time. Time has made you in the eyes of men look like young. But you can decide in the spiritual realm you are old. Because you understand times and seasons. The Bible says that two shall be one in bed. One shall be taken and one, another one left. Oh, Jesus. The Bible says that when Jesus shall come, he shall come like a thief. Some will not know that Jesus has come. Because they have not discerned the times and seasons that we are living in. They cannot calculate. Do you know what scripture says? Jesus said that no one knows when Jesus will come. Yes. Only the Father. Yes. But I'm telling you as believers, you can know when Jesus will come. Because unto us mm. it is revealed. Mm, yes. Unto us mm. who are believers, mm. it is revealed. And when you begin to calculate mm. from the scriptures, when you sit down with the word and begin to calculate the word of God, mm. you will know, ah, these seasons that we are in, mm. it is the season that the Bible says that uh, Jesus is at the door. Uh, yes. So you begin to prepare your house. Mm. Because the groom is coming. You begin to prepare your house. When he comes in, Amen. he finds you fit Amen. to go home with him. Amen. Read the Bible. To everything, there is a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. Continue. To. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. Can you imagine a farmer a farmer who is pl planting out of season. Yani wewe watu wakipanda ulikuwa umelala. Sasa ile wanavuna ndio unakuja kupanda. What a confusion. Now that people are running to Jesus, even secular musicians are coming to to the gospel. Non believers are getting born again. You that is born again, that is the time that you are going out. When people are running to Jesus for hope, that is the moment that you are running away from Jesus. Understanding times and seasons. Are we together? Yes. So everything has a purpose and is born for a certain season. I've sent the notes to Manasseh. Everything has a purpose and is born. Are we together? Yes. For a certain reason or season. For a certain season. There is nothing, nothing in this earth, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I say nothing that does not have a purpose. Yes. Scripture says even demons were mm. created for God's pleasure. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. God even made demons for his own pleasure. He, God gives demons errands. Is indeed God that permitted Satan to come to Job? Yes. Is it true? Yes. Yeah. Everything has a reason, including you. Including you. Yes. And the earlier you understand 
your assignment, your purpose. As our father was saying here today, that we have people in this company, many companies, and we have one believer that God is looking for, who is the salt, and God wants this believer to go here and cultivate fire, go here, cultivate fire, go here, cultivate fire. It is the same with you, teenagers. God desires even as you go to that school, homosexuality dies, lesbianism dies, because you are in that school. Why is it that lesbianism is being multiplied in your school and you are there? And even some of us become part of it. We are conforming to the patterns of the world. We want to dress like the people of the world. Instead of the people of the world dressing like us. And we are saying we want to capture them. So to answer Kuvaz, Nidwangaji, hot pants, church, so that we can capture the people of the world. Why, why should indeed be the other way around? We dress well and then they come to the church. Is it that all the time? Nisisi Lazima to Vaikama wow. Who told you in the scriptures that Jesus dressed like them? Are you not aware when Jesus was being crucified? Walinganganiangu were Jesus and they were beating because it was an expensive robe, the robe of a king, too expensive. He would mingle with them but still put on his attire of a king. You want to mingle with them and still dress like them and still behave like them, still talk like them. Slowly by slowly you are losing your identity. Are we together? Yes. Yeah? Yep. Give me Esther 414. We go very fast. Four. Let's read all of us. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But if you and your father's house will perish, yet you knows, yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Can you imagine? The deliverance of the Jews was in the hands of Esther. And Mordecai is telling Esther, please go and give Esther this report back. She has gone before the king. But she can come out or die. So it's a mission of do or die. And Mordecai is saying, who knows, maybe you've come to this world for such a time as this. Who knows? If you're here, you call Margaret, Jane, Lucy, Joseph, mm. Blessing, Amy, mm. Sharon, mm. whatever name, Davian. Who knows that you came in this world such a time like this? That's why you are not 80 years old. Mm. You are 28, you are 30, you are whatever years. Because you came to this world for a, such a time as this. Because God knew for this generation to be saved, I need blessing around. For this generation to be saved, I need Devian around. For a time as this. And it's like I'm just echoing what our father was teaching in the service. And God is looking at us and saying, my goodness. I thought I found one. I thought Ben will catch this early. The desire of God is that you can catch these things early. If Jesus was mingling with the teachers of the law in the temple at age 12, he was not even a teenager. You, your past age, 
Jesus was still a child, mingling. He ran away from his parents and went into the temple to reason with the scribes, to hear how they reason. Because of his assignment ahead, he wanted to learn their tactics, how they reason. So that when he comes to attack them, when he comes to them, he knows how they think. Your work is just Al Jazeera and movies from morning to evening. Afro cinema. Wanakuambia to continue shortly. Na unangoja tu. Alafi inarudi tena ina continue. Inaisha unatafta ingine part 2. O Sofia in London. And as you wasting time, the clock is ticking. Before you know it, it's night. Before you realize it, it's another morning. That day is wasted. Yesterday, you can never recover yesterday. You will never and can never recover yesterday. But when you allow Jesus restore the time. Do you know how he restores the time? Is the little years that you still have on earth. Okay? Yes. He gives you assignments. Are we together? Yes. The, the, the assignments you are supposed to do in the years you wasted. Mm. He brings them into this season. Oh. And now you begin to do that job. Oh. I am charging you to begin early. Amen. Tell your neighbor, begin early. Begin early. Because you are not born for yourself. Mm. Esther was not born for herself. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Si Esther kuzaliwa kwa sababu yake. Eh. Everything was planned and designed by God. Mm. That this girl will be born here. She will grow up. She'll go through this. Yes. She'll go through this. She will end up in this person's hand. End up here. After this here. Your life is planned. It's like a movie. Your life is scripted down. But you, mu you must understand when you need to fight. When you need to bleed. When you need to do what? You must understand those seasons. So that in the time in the time of planting, that's not the time that you're eating. Mm. You plant when it's time for planting. Yes. You eat when it's time for eating. Mm. Are we together? Yes. Because there is a beauty in the right timing. Amen. I'm telling you, there's a beauty in the right timing. When your season for marrying comes, and you marry on time, ah, there's beauty. Unajua kuna miaka mkifika hata mnakaa kama brothers and sisters. Sasa uoni hata Abraham anaanza kuita wife yake sister. Kuna miaka ikifika unangona tu. Unangona mimi wangu kama dadangu. Mko tu. Abraham anaanza kuita wife yake sis. Because there is a season where the energy you have now you don't have it. Please maximize your season. Amen. Are we together? Yes. Give me Joel 2.25. Oh, this verse is where you say amen as you read it. Mm. The Bible says, So I will restore to you the ears that the swarming locust has eaten. Can you imagine? Say a big amen. Amen. Yeah. Mungu anakuambia ta restore. Sasa tena unataka kukubali. Already you shall waste 25 years. 18 years. Si kukubali tu Mungu wa restore, ndio? Yes. The Bible says I will restore 
to you the ears that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. Are we together? Yes. So God will restore. Amen. Say amen. Amen. God will restore your ears. Amen. Say a big amen. Amen. God will restore your ears. Amen. If you have wasted your ears in smoking, in drinking, in clapping, in, in whatever, whatever, lesbianity, whatever you've wasted your ears, the Lord will restore those ears in Jesus' name. Amen. And your story will not become bitter, but it will become better for the benefit of many. Amen. Give me Ephesians 5.15. Let us read all of us. Go. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Live like people who are wise. Go to 16. Make the most out of every opportunity in these evil days. Give me NK, NKJV. You can change. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children. What is that? I'm saying 16. Okay. Redeeming, Redeeming the, the time, time because, because the, the days day. are evil. So the Bible says, be careful how you live. Not as fools, but as those who are wise. Redeeming the time. Do you know what it is? You know redeem the time. You know what redeem bonga points. So, could redeem bonga points in a man shop on a time on a cocky to me? Is it true? Now, in a quick end place, so you can redeem bonga points. So, the Bible says, Don't live like fools, live as wise men, live as wise teenagers, and redeem the time. Redeem the time. How do you redeem the time? Number one, you redeem the time. By dedicating your life fully to Jesus. You redeem your time, number one, by dedicating your life fully to Jesus. Number two, by becoming a disciple of Jesus. Add this by becoming a committed disciple of Jesus. When Paul met Jesus on the way, he became a committed disciple. Totally sold out. He's the one who says, I no longer live by Christ who lives in me. Even though I do not want to preach, necessity has been laid upon me. I cannot stop preaching. Why? Because I will be asked questions by God. The burden is heavy upon me. I cannot stop. No matter what you do. You become a committed disciple of Jesus. Number three. Become a committed Bible reader. So please do me a favor. Be coming with someone to write notes, okay? Become a committed Bible reader. As a teenager. Yeah, let me tell you something. You, you, you don't just become powerful in a day. It's something you cultivate. Do you know why a father is called a father? A father is called a father because of the experience. Then the number of years ameishi, the encounters amekuwa nazo na Mungu, na of course ako mbele yako. You cannot just become one in a day. Unaamka hivi siku moja, unajua John 3:16, na unataka uanze kuitwa dad. Everywhere, dad. Unaitwa watu son, my son. Dad, my son. John 3.16 peke yake mshanda kuitua dad. You earn it. 
I earned the title of a father by giving birth to a child. My own child. Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Even the children I stay with, they call me dad. Why? Because of the responsibility I have over their life. We don't cost share. I pay the rent. I pay water. I buy food. I do everything. I teach you. I whatever. Are we together? Yes. You become a committed Bible reader. Number four. Are we number four? Yes. You see, you, you, you are very blessed because whatever I'm giving you, I'm hearing from the Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's not part of my notes. Mm -hmm. Number four. Become a prayerful woman or man of God. Become a prayerful woman or man of God. What I'm giving you, I'm hearing. So even me, I will need the notes. I will go and listen. Become prayerful. Bible says pray without ceasing. And Jesus withdrew himself from the crowd. And he went into hiding to pray. Because every moment of your life counts. Every second counts. Every minute counts. Every hour counts. Every day counts. Week count. Month count. Year count. You celebrate your birthday because umemaliza mwaka. Sinukweli. Well, Samati, kila siku ni by the day yako. Unaamka tu hivi leo ni by the day yako. Ukika hivi jioni leo ni by the day yako. Lunch time leo ni by the day yako. Kesho asubuhi leo ni by the day yako. Eh. Kuna wewe unazaliwaje? Lazima hiyo rotation ya season 365 days ishe for you to celebrate another year. Even Jesus had respect of time. Because the earth is bound by time. Yes. When he comes, do you know what the meaning of eternal? The meaning of eternal is that there is no time there. So it's life with no end. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is life with no end. So can you imagine Ukohel for eternity? Unachomeka kidole tusemeneza chomeka 200 million years sasa after 200 million years ni nini because hakuna end that's why I don't want you to go to hell I want you to go to heaven can we just fight and we go to heaven niki, niki pita tu hivi kwa korido za heaven na kucheki tu nasema wa ulifika eh the rich man thought that you will go to heaven. But when they died, both of them, he was just saying, please, tell Lazarus, yani mbaka ako hell, lakini bado ni boss. Tell Lazarus to even give me a drop of water. Yani uboss ili mfuata mbaka hell. Do you know where Lazarus was? He was lying at the bosom. He was lying at the bosom, enjoying the presence, eating the fruits of heaven. It is no zoku 300, 300. Akuna kitu apa heaven kuna matunda mzuri, my friend. Fresh. Please fight that you may reach heaven. Whatever it takes, fight that you may reach heaven. Stay in purity serve the Lord maximize your time stay true to the course and see heaven number five thank you Holy Spirit become a witness of Jesus become a witness of Jesus I was just with one of my brothers out there and he told me 
Jesus never focused with a crowd. He focused with the twelve. And he wanted to transform the twelve. Not so that they can be powerful apostles, but they, they can become witnesses that they saw Jesus. They saw God with their eyes. Paul, Paul was never with Jesus like mingling, but he met him because an angel appeared to him. You must desire to become a witness of Jesus. In your neighborhood, do they know if you're born again? Ama ata kukuja chachu na jificha. Like my dear, you play rugby. Are they sure that you are born again? Do you tell them about Jesus? Are you a witness there as you're kicking that rugby ball? Can they see Jesus in that leg? In whatever thing you're doing in school, are you a witness of Jesus? Do you witness about this person that you're claiming to know? Do you even know him? Have you met him? You must become a witness of Jesus. Become a witness of Jesus. Tell your fellow teenagers about Jesus. We are few in this place because we are, we are, we are, is it jealous? What, what is it called? This is a joy. You don't want to invite your friend to church. Are we together? Today I'm teaching like this because I'm purposeful by the earth when I'm teaching like this. Because kuja for all of you, but I've come for one person. Yeah. In every meeting, God is always recruiting people. Amen. Every meeting, you can have 10,000 people, 20,000, 100,000, 50,000, whatever thousand that there is. 20 million, but God can be targeting two. As I told you, Jesus was never a person of crowd. In fact, where there was crowd and after ministration to the crowd, he would withdraw. Go back to his place with his disciples. He maximizes time on the 12 so that they, be, they can become witness. So every Sunday we are here teaching you, here laboring, teaching you. We are, we are, we are not even going for outs. We are not going even for these places for fun. We won't end up fun. Since you are 20 fun, we are, we are preparing the word of God to come and teach you to be witnesses. So that one day you will not say you are not taught. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Give me 1 Corinthians 12, 32. Are we learning something? Yes. I'm asking, are we learning something? Yes. Is something entering our hearts? Give me 1 Corinthians 12, 32. The Bible says of the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times. Amen. Can you imagine? Amen. So there were different groups of people from families. Because they are wise but the sons of Issachar, they had understanding of the time to know what oh. Israel ought to do. Oh, yes. Their chiefs were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. So they knew exactly what to do. This season, Flani Mefika, I would do what to do. My prayer for you today is that you will understand and you will know what to do when a season comes. Amen. A season will not come and it just bypasses you. No. You will understand it. Amen. Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Write this down. 
you must know by the spirit the seasons we are in you must know by the spirit the seasons we are in as young people understand where and why you are here you must know by the spirit the seasons we are in and as young people understand where you can say where I am and why I am here make it personal not Nizako you must understand where where are you now where are you now in this season then in that season understand why are you there in that season And sometimes God will begin giving dreams and visions. Trying to signal you, you are in this season. You are in this season. You are in this season. Don't waste time. You are in this season. Recently, the, the Lord told me, Son, I want you to begin reading books on revival. I called one of my brothers and I told them, please if you can find me all the books of revival I want to read them because God will begin people have been given dreams about me and they're touching on their matters to do with the revival and I was never bothered but the Lord told me get materials for revival and begin reading them why? it's because he's preparing you for the battlefield you cannot go to war without training. So when you see men rise, they don't just rise. When you see people on the top, they're not just there. They're not just there. Some even understand the season of sacrifice. Not every time you sacrifice, they understand where, what time to sacrifice and what to sacrifice it's not every moment you sacrifice you understand the moment where to hit when to hit you must calculate So the moment you understand where you as a person, you as an individual, where you are, you understand this is the place where I am right now. And by the way, let me tell you something. You can sense it in your spirit. If you're keen enough to listen to your spirit man, you will sense the promptings of the spirit. Where the Holy Spirit is telling you this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. Thank God my daddy shared it. Let me share it. One of the ladies in the media, I used to see her and I would see something in her. But I would see something in her. 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 I relax too. But I would see this girl. This girl has something. I say it's okay. We are not that close. Mrs. Spiritual Father, okay, so I can mother and mind my own business. So recently we were doing something in the studio. Joseph was there. Together with our father. And after short teaching of our father, we began to pray. And the Holy Spirit took over. And everyone was on the ground. We could not even complete what we were doing. And that which I used to see, manifested that day and our father said her ministry has just begun because God is timing hey. God times God knows where where and when to back that ministry he knows he knows who to use he knows 
you are somewhere you don't know how you found yourself there you don't know what brought you there ujui ni nini unafanya hapo but that is the particular time that god wants to put something in you now my prayer for you is that you will not be in the wrong place in jesus name amen because you can also be in the wrong place mm. and something evil finds you there yes i saw a man who was arrested ati mtu alipiga langeta hiyo area alikuwa amevaa siju kofia kala gani siju na na jacket siju na kaa kala gani alafu huyu aka happen alikuwa amevaa the same na anapita hiyo area na watu wakasema ndio ule that is how he landed in jail that's where god must order your steps you don't just wake up and go out God must order your steps so that you can be in the right place at the right time doing the right thing understanding times and seasons are you aware it's your time to shine are you aware yes i'm asking a question we are not two here we are many are you aware it's your time to shine yes are you aware it's your time for you to shine for your family The Bible says arise shine for your time has come. Even the Bible quotes time your time has come. So I want you to know that your season and your time has come for you to shine. It's a season and a time for you to serve God. It's a season and a time for you to be serious with God and stop jokes. It's a time and a season for you to be serious with your academics. It's your time and season for you to be serious with that which God has given you. Because shortly the king of glory shall appear. Yes. Riding on the cloud. And all of us even them that crucified him shall see him. And he shall be coming for the church. question is will you be part of the church will you be part of that church you that think that these things are gimmicks you that think that we are wasting time will you be part of them that Jesus will be coming for when he shall be riding on the cloud coming like fire in that time not as a lamb but as a lion Will you be part of them that Jesus will be coming for? Or will you be part of them that will be saying, I was teaching in your name, casting demons in your name, dancing in your name, singing in your name, and Jesus will say to you, get thee behind me, I don't know you. You think this is a message for old people? Oh, I'm here to burst your bubbles. This is a message for you young people so that you may do this early. Get these things early. And never say you are not told. I'm about to finish. Write this down. It's your time. You just say it's my time for strength. It's my time for strength. Give me first John 2:14. Read. I have written to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you. Just there. And you have overcome the wicked one. Yes. So it is written to you young men because of what? Because you are strong. Teenagers you're strong. If you have strength to run around from one party to another you can attend seven parties a day and all of them you are dancing na una gari na labda una fair 
So zote hata labda umetembea seven of them na ziko same location. Moja kawangware, ingine Dandora, ingine iko huko Uruma, ingine iko Isili, ingine iko Alinga, ingine umeenda sijui la Ngata, ingine umeenda Mlolongo. Na zote unatembea seven. Na uchoki vumbi imejaa kila mahali mpaka kwa magoti. If you still have strength to, to do that, then you have strength to serve the Lord. You have strength to serve the Lord. And by the way, the Lord just spoke to me. From this Saturday, I want as many as teenagers, as many teenagers as possible to begin to join our leader for compel them. Congratulations to them that come. But I want us to go for soul winning. Are we together? Yes. Yeah, the Lord spoke to me this week. And he said, I tell you and I tell myself also. As many as possible. Are we together? Yes. Every Saturday from what time, Mr. Joseph? From 8 a.m. 8 a.m. we are here for prayers. So we come for prayers 8 a.m. Are we together? Yes. We come 8 a.m. for prayers. After that, we go out and win souls. I myself, I'll fight to be here. So that we can go out there. Now, waone, waone my G, my G's mama, the one with the chain. You, the one with the chain, yes. Nakupenda sana. Wakiona kijana kama uyu, ametengeneza nyuele hivyo. Wanasema kama uyu aneza ukoka na mungu wanampenda na ako hivyo. Ata miyuna taka umu. Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Do see a chair to us, eh? Mm. Remember say, I have, sit down please, thank you. I have written to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. Fathers know him. But to young men, mm. because you are strong and the word of God abides in you. Amen. We have the word of God. Let's go out and share it. Watch to kaikama our jinga before people. But when he comes, we shall know who was foolish and who was wise. Yes. Watch out to kwe wajinga apa kwa hii place enye ko bound with time. Mm. But we shall become wise mm. in eternity. Mm. Number two, you are, this is your days of discovery. The discovery of treasures in the world. This is your days of discovery. The discovery of treasures in the world. Proverbs 21 10. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. Continue. When the scoffer is punished, the simple is made wise. But when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. Can you imagine? Wisdom. Where you begin to discover things. Begin to discover things, treasures in the world. Someone said to me the other day, This might not be your message now, but I'm saying it because one day it will be. A time is coming where people will not be trading with money, but gold and silver. You know why? Because gold and silver is the currency of God. The currency of God is not paper. God does not deal with paper. Because gold can never perish. Gold is always gold. Is always gold. All the time. It will reach a time then the amount of gold you have in the bank, that is what you are trading with. It is time to make discoveries. Discover your talent. Discover your gift. Discover what you can do now. I was pushing Lena. Lena is very shy. I love you, Lena. Lena is very shy. Shaking. She doesn't want to. Hey. I Eh? Na sweat karibu to mlete towels. Towels saba. But you know why I'm pushing Lena? Eh? Ule mwenye ako inje ndi anonandani mzuri. Nwajwa evo? Ule mwenye ako inje, ndi anonandani vizuri. And because God has privileged me to have 
some little authority over her as the leader of teens I can see something I may not be able to see much but I can see some qualities of something inside that is what I'm pushing to come out five times when Akis Mama Baba Marayatano Lina will begin to preach na ushangae undi ole Lina clap your hands for Lina you will wonder is this the Lina that used to shy to hold a microphone because unto them that God has given leadership his expectation is that they may call out gifts from the people that they are leading call out gifts identify gifts discovery can you look at someone and identify a gift are we together yes number 3 your days of vision these are your days of vision write this down know where you are going on time when you have the strength to run know where you are going on time when you have the strength to run write this down everything about life is timed everything about life is timed even you you are timed one day you will exit this world there is a timer for you somewhere are we together yes my prayer for you is that you will never miss your time and season in jesus name amen say a bigger amen amen say a bigger amen if you believe amen as a teenager it's your time to find bearing in life this is the season where you're finding bearing bearing stability the way i see my little girl my last born anatafuta meza anasimama hapo kutafuta stability anakuja karibu dadi anashikilia trouser ya dadi anatafuta stability very soon she'll just begin to walk one step after another another time mm. she'll just begin to walk mm. begin to walk mm. normally mm. the other time she'll be calling me dadi unaenda because everything is time everything is tight mm. everything is tight yes. tell your neighbor fine bearing fine bearing mwambie tafuta bearing tafuta bearing na kona kama uko nayo mwambie tafuta kabisa tafuta kabisa you need to save your time si mmekuwa mgisikia hiyo save your time mm. please ni save your time ni save your time ona mimi ni save your time Bona mwambie ni save time. Unamwambia finish the business you're doing now. Get out of my way. Ni save time. Because I don't have enough time. I only have 24 hours a day. So please save me time. Because time is precious. Time is the currency that rich people operate with. Not money. Rich people operate with time. That's why ukienda upate mlami ama mtu rich akwambie fika hapa by 8, ufike 8:30 ana consider as a joker. Because for them it's not about the money. It's about the time. Because that time is money. You know we are coming to a days. Today is where we teenagers will become billionaires amen hmm, you think i'm joking eh okay wait i will show you right now malavadai get me the scripture that says uh in the end a child shall lead them get me that scripture in the end a child shall lead them so 
Someone has gotten it? Because we are coming to a time and season. Is there anyone who has gotten that? The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. We will come to a season where teenagers will become the most great entrepreneurs. Amen. Amen. That's a nice place to say amen. Amen. You people, you don't know how to receive things. We are coming to a season where teenagers will become billionaires, will become leaders. If we had a king at 16 years old, we can have a president in this nation at 14, at 15. It's possible. It's not age that brings rulership. It is what is in the heart. What is in the heart? David, a young boy, tendering his father's sheep. A young boy, tendering his father's sheep. That is the season he was. Forgotten. Even, he was even forgotten that he's part of the family. Taking care of his father's sheep. And as he was taking care of his father's sheep, busy, busy there, a bear comes and David says, I would rather lose my life than allow this sheep to die. And he will fight with the bear and kill the bear, tendering his father's sheep. And a lion will come. And when a lion comes, David says, I would rather risk my life and have the lion kill me than kill my father's sheep and kill the lion. David will end up killing the lion, just taking care of his father's sheep. And he will not announce all these things to people. People just thought, ah, David is just a shepherd. Let them, be, let them continue calling you a, a Christianholic. Let them begin to uh, uh, continue calling you a churchholic. Let them continue calling you these things, that your faith is too much, you speak in tongues too much. It's okay. Allow me to just speak in tongues. Allow me to just pray. Allow me to just keep purity. Allow me. You keep on saying that I'm wasting my time. You keep on saying that I'm young and I'm a virgin. And you're saying that Nimetupambao. It's okay. A time will come when a season will present itself. And that is the time where they will be looking for someone who can carry Jesus. They will be looking for a virgin who can carry Jesus. And when God sees, he sees many virgins. He sees, ah, there are several virgins around. But, but character, character. Mm -mm. Uyu ni virgin, but ana, ana, ana sengenya sana. Uh, uh, uni virgin, but, eh, 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 vile na muona apana. Uni virgin, but, eh, vile, vile ananza kuangusha wana ume, ni sawa, ni virgin, but anangusha maboi sana. Ah, ni sawa. God anangalia na una, ah, there is Mary somewhere. She has just kept herself. Let me allow this one to carry me into the world. And I'm not saying because you missed, Jesus cannot use you. That's why I told you, you can redeem your time. And when you become serious with God, God will begin to use you. And when an opportunity presented itself, Lucy, and there was Goliath, and there was no one who could fight Goliath, and David used to beg, but no one would listen to him because everyone thinks this is just a shepherd. Kijana tuwa kuchunga kondo, uta kuja kupigana aje na umtu. Umtu wa meua watu wengi. Great and mightier than you. Who are you? But David comes and says, as I was taking care of my fathership, mm. one thing I understood, greater is he that is in me mm. than he who is in the world. Mm. I can see Goliath, mm. but the God that is in me mm. is bigger than my small oh, yes. size. Mm. And when he was given the opportunity, and he was told, Chukwa shield, Chukwa mkuki, and they were made of metal. And he could try and carry them. Say these things are weighty. I can't. I can't. Why? Because some of us, 
we have God inside but we are still trying to carry some things to go with to the battlefield we are still carrying stress we are still carrying depression we are still carrying our last experiences we are still carrying things that happened to us last time God is just saying drop them drop them oh. the, I, I am in you already drop them mm -hmm. come light oh, yes. come light yes. you will not be able to swing the stone with that thing you are carrying come oh, yes. light understand. Mm -hmm. So David understood it was my opportunity. Why? Mm -hmm. Because there was a promise mm -hmm. from the king. Yes. The king promised to give the daughter. Mm -hmm. Hey! Nani angetaka? Na pesa? Mm -hmm. And David was there. David was there. And when he swung, and he picked Goliath, pa! Naturally, Goliath anafangu ke wapi? Nyuma. Is it true? because of the force. Yes. But the Bible says he fell face on the ground. His face hit the ground. So meaning alianguka na mbele. Nini ilimpush na nyuma? It was the force of God. He played with God, the host of heaven. So when you begin to understand your times and seasons, you begin to walk in the truths of God's word begin to walk in purity as a young person mm. you can say it's okay I've messed I was this and that I was an homosexual lesbian I fornicate here and there I do this I drink I smoke but today I've just decided I don't want this life anymore I don't want this life anymore I want to become serious with God when you become serious with God, you will turn out to be one great person that people will be looking up to. The intention of God is to make you great. His intention is to make you powerful. His intention is to make you great, powerful, rich. His intention is to brag. I want you to lift up your hands and pray this prayer and say, Jesus, I allow you to take control of my life. Make that prayer for one minute in the name of Jesus. Jesus, just tell him, Jesus, I allow you to take control of my life. Take control, Jesus. Repent of everything that you've done, the time you've wasted, and tell God that I want to redeem my time. Give me the grace to be serious with you. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus from the sincerity of your heart. We are not here to play games. We are here for serious business. I know this is teens ministry and sometimes they may look at us as jokers. But we are here to shape a generation. Father, please help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. In Jesus' name. You are there and you are not born again. Or you're there. Number one, you're not born again. Number two, you need to repent. You need to repent. I want you to come. I want you to come. You're not born again. You need to receive Jesus. And there is something you need to repent. And you want to recommit your life to Jesus. I want you to come. And don't feel shy. It's your life. I want you to come. You want God to help you. So that you, you can become serious with God. I want you to run on the altar. Please don't waste time. I want you to come. I want you to come. I want you to come. And kneel down here. I'm giving you a chance. Repenting means turning away from your old ways. You know there are ways. You don't have straight ways. Your ways are not straight. You know your heart. 
and you want to make it right with God, you want Jesus to help you to be serious with him, I want you to come and kneel here with this sister. I'm giving you a chance. The rest of us pray in the name of Jesus. Please run on the altar. Don't waste time. Run on the altar. Jesus is waiting for you. Run on the altar. Come here and cry for mercy. You've been sleeping around. Smoking. Doing all these things. You need to recommit your life to Jesus. You need to make things right with God. Please run on the altar. You know your heart. Please do it very fast. I don't know why I, I'm insisting on this. I don't want to lock someone out. Please run on the altar. You can even hear in your spirit. The Holy Spirit is prompting you to come. The Holy Spirit is beckoning you. He's, tell, he's pushing you. He's telling you come. He's telling you go, go, go. Please go. You are there. The Holy Spirit is telling you go. Who are you fearing? Fear no man. Fear the Lord alone. Fear no man. The Lord sees. Even the, deep, the deepest secrets of your heart, he knows. He sees them. He knows yesterday you slept around. He knows yesterday you fornicated. He knows. God is aware. You smoke yesterday. He's aware. You are in a club yesterday. He's aware. You cannot hide anything from him. He's calling you because he wants to reconcile with you. He's saying, my son, come let us reason together. God is saying, I want to give you a chance. Please run on the altar. Please run on the altar. 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 Father, I thank you for your children. Say this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it loudly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I recommit my life to you, Lord. I recommit my life to you, Lord. From today. From today. Read me. Read me. Of the pride of this world. Of the pride of this world. Say from today. From today. I denounce. I denounce the pleasures of this world. The pleasures of this world. Give me a heart for you. Give me a heart for you. A heart that hungers. A heart that hungers. And thirsts. And thirsts. After you. After you. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. To say no to sin. To say no to sin. Give me stability. Give me stability. To reject. To reject the pleasures of this world. The pleasures of this Give world. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. To stay with you. To stay with you. To be serious with you. To be serious with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children. They have come before angels and before these people. They have come so that they can recommit their life to you. Please, Father, I pray. The same grace that you preserve people with, preserve them, Lord. Their desires that they may abandon their sinful life. Please grant them the grace to say no to fornication, to say no to smoking, to say no to drinking, to partying, to saying no to forni to all these manner of things, sex here and there. Father, grant them the grace the stamina and the stability to say no. And that evil spirit that has been haunting them, causing them to, to never say no, I break it in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare they are free. For the Bible says, whoever the Son sets free is free and free indeed. Therefore you are free. And as Jesus said, please go and sin no more from today you are a child of god you are a servant of god and god will use you in the name of jesus stand up on your feet in jesus name clap your hands to the lord 
Where is Minister Joseph? He has left. Please go and see Chi back there. Go and see Chi. I'll come and have a word with you. Chi is back there. The greatest opportunity that you can ever have in life is when God rebukes you. When God can correct you. He says, I chastise them that I love. And please, this is me begging you. Can we just trust God to remain pure? I'm asking a question. Can we just trust God? Yes. Can we? Yes. Can we just make a deal with God that we will walk in purity yes. and not compromise like the rest? Yes. Can we just make a deal with God that we will not walk in the ways of this world? Yes. Please, everything you do, this is my last word. Be heavenly conscious. What have I said? Be heavenly conscious. Everything you do, be heavenly conscious. Have the consciousness of heaven. Let heaven be your goal. Let seeing Jesus be your goal. Entering heaven. And that will guide every step of your life. Spend time with the word. The word will teach us. The word of God will teach us what to do. I'm not perfect. We are not perfect. But we are before a perfect God. Helping imperfect people. You must accept that you are not perfect. And God is trying to help you. Don't resist when God is trying to help you. He has nothing against you. He has nothing to lose at the end of the day. You have everything to lose. He has gained because he's God, with or without us. His desire is that so you may come and eat with him in his table in heaven. That is the desire of your father, your king. Clap your hands to Jesus again.